Hi everyone at Regen. How are you feeling today? Some of you might be answering, I'm pretty chilled out, it's weekend. Others might be feeling a bit anxious, frustrated, angry. Our feelings go up and down depending on what's going on around us. But the one thing we need to think about in our Christian life is that God doesn't expect us to live our Christian life dependent on our feelings. Terry and I heard a great talk by a man called Zach Poonin um, a few weeks ago, and he reminded us of a parable that I thought I'd share with you today. It's been quite a good one for Terry and I to keep thinking about through lockdown to make sure that we're focusing on the right stuff. So this is how the parable goes. There are three men walking on a wall. The wall is quite high up and very narrow, so the men have to walk one behind the other. They can't see much other than the man in front. Now, the man in front represents fact, which is the word of God, and the fact of Christ being in our life. The one in between signifies faith. Faith is looking at fact and follows God's word. The last person is, that's following along represents our feelings. When the three walk on the wall, they're looking forward. Our faith comes into being when we look steadfastly at God's word and his accomplished work, the facts. God has already given us his son as saviour of our life. When we see this fact, we have faith. The second always follows the first. Now, every now and again, faith turns round to look at feelings and when it does, it wobbles and falls off the wall, bringing feelings down with it. Now that's a beautiful analogy of how it should be. A faith that's not fixed on the facts is a shaking faith. The moment you take your faith away from looking at the word of God, um, listening, to, listening and reading the Bible, so things start to fall apart. Um, you turn around and start basing your faith on how you're feeling at that moment in time. Things are going to fall and feelings are going to go, are going to fall too. But when you refocus your faith back on the word of God, so things start to get in line again. And so feelings and faith come back onto that wall when they're back focused on the word of God. Not what people are saying around you, not by events, not by your emotions, but back to what we know is true, the word of God. Now there is another analogy I'm gonna throw at you now, which is the fact, faith, feelings, train. On this analogy, fact is the engine of the train. And so God's word is the engine of our life. His word drives our decisions. It steers us in the right way. The train won't run without the engine. The train will run with or without the passenger cars. So that word of God is always there. It's always steering. It's whether we choose to follow that or not. God's word is consistent and true. We can't pull the train with the passenger cars. And so in the same way, we as Christians do not depend on our feelings or emotions. We place our faith and trustworthiness of God and the promises of his word. God gave us free will. He made us in such a way that we get to decide whether we're going to follow him or not follow him. And it's by using our will that we decide to focus on the facts and the word of God and not the other two. We have little control over our emotions and we have limited control over our bodies with things like sicknesses and viruses around us. But we do have control over our will at all times. So we get to decide through our will to focus on God. Jesus said in the Garden of Gethsemane, not by my will, but yours be done. And there's another verse in Colossians 3 verse 2, set your mind on the things above, not on the things of the earth. When we do this, the devil has no power. The devil wants us to be basing our actions, our feelings and our faith on our emotions, 
because that's when we get thrown from side to side and battered about through the day and through the times as things hit us from different angles. Jesus loves us and he wants us to be steadfast in that faith in the word of God. And through doing so also, our emotions get steadfast too. Everything falls into place when we go back to the word of God as our foundation of who we are and what we're about and the love of, that God has for us. So to summarize, if you're unsure or feeling low or wanting to hear from God, place your faith directly on the word of God and he will lead you, guide you and teach you in the right way. I thought we'd finish off with a prayer today. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the word which is steadfast in our lives. Help me to always focus on your teachings and the fact that I am saved by the grace of the Lord Jesus. Help me to turn to you no matter how I'm feeling. Amen. <laughs>